When we set out to design 360 Dash, we knew that a lot of you out there were running starter and really trying to push the pencil on the ROI of not just the 1034Os and the food grade starters, but a lot of the new technology that's coming out in the biological area and those other additives that we can be putting near that seed to get a payback. We're really excited about the response we've gotten from our videos we put out. At the same time, we've gotten a lot of really good questions. So we wanna take some time to tackle those and go through them each one at a time and get you some answers. So a good place to start is to think about how do you set the rate with 360 Dash and how is that different from what you're used to today when you're applying a stream? And the question comes in and it's poised as, do I take it as savings? It looks like with Dash I could cut my rate in half, let's say, or should I go ahead and try to actually invest more next to the seed where I'm gonna see a higher payback? And the good thing with Dash is you are in control and you have a lot of choices on where you'd like to invest when it comes to the amount that you're spending for starter. So let's go ahead and work through an example because I think this area needs some explanation and will help you think through it. If we are placing our seeds out here, we're just gonna say six inches apart because that makes for some easier math. And let's just start with what you do today. So you go ahead and pick an orifice or you're setting a pressure with your pump and let's say you're applying today 10 gallons per acre, okay? So in this case, the plant sees a concentration for every inch that's equivalent to 10 gallons per acre. And because we're applying in a stream, every single inch along our furrow, your tank is also going down by 10 gallons per acre. So everything's very consistent. Now let's think about what happens when we add dash. So we're gonna draw another scenario here Again, our seeds spaced out, let's say six inches apart. Now we're gonna come through and we're gonna apply, in this example, let's say three inches next to that seed. But again, in the app where you set up your rate, with 360 Dash, what you wanna tell us is what concentration would you like to apply? So if you've experienced 10 gallon per acre in the past, you could start by saying, I want you to apply 10 gallon per acre. And to us, with Dash, that means local concentration next to the seed. What are those roots going to experience when they first grow out? So in this case, where before your tank went down by 10 gallon per acre, now because, and this is a perfect example, it's a 6 inch average spacing and we're applying a 3 inch Dash, your tank is only going to go down by 5 gallon per acre. And this is the scenario where you've taken it all as savings. So the product that we would have applied here in this portion of the stream, we've just removed and kept back and saved. So this has come out as dollars, all right? So that's a fairly simple example. And as your actual seed spacing changes or the rate that you apply changes, or you have the ability to run three inch, two inch, or even a custom length dash, the amount of savings, that ratio is gonna shift, but the principle stays the same, which is, the plant sees the same amount of starter for these inches here as it does here because in both cases you've told us 10 gallon per acre is the rate you want. Now because we've given you the control, you could actually say, you know what, I don't want to take it all as savings. I'd actually like to take some of the starter that I would have put in this area and I'd actually like to add it on top. And that is an option. So you could take even as much as all of it if you wanted, and say, I'd like you to take these three inches and basically add them as another three inches for that seed. And in that case, you would enter in the app 20 gallon per acre. Now, when it comes to starter, that'd be a pretty high rate, but it just serves the example. You might also say, you know what? Actually, that's too high of a rate. I want to save some and I want to invest some. So let's say you go into the app and you say, why don't we apply 15 gallon per acre? Now what you've done is you've saved half and you've applied half of what you would have had in these three inches. So you're in complete control of where you want to invest the product or take it all as savings, and you're going to tell us what's the concentration that you'd like each plant to see. And from that point, Dash is looking at your seed sensor, and we know exactly where that seed landed, and we'll treat the number of inches you told us right where that seed lives. So the next question was, can I apply a solid stream with Dash? And the answer is yes. So as you thought through our example, in a lot of cases we're focused on savings or applying a higher concentration. 
In some cases though, we know there are certain types of products and certain types of applicators where you may want to run a continuous stream, but do it in a controlled rate. And Dash does have a stream mode that allows us to apply the full length of the furrow. And because we have a flow meter on every row, we'll adjust that rate to accurately hit whatever rate you've told us to apply. So in that type of an example where you're running 100% or stream, whatever concentration number you give us now also, of course, would equal how much your tank is going to go down as you cover those acres. So it's to be the same type of system you're used to today, except now it's controlled. You're not having to pick an orifice, and you have the ability to know for each row what's actually being applied because of the flow meter. We've been asked, what are the wear parts with 360 Dash? So as you look at the valve behind me, the way Dash works is we have a plastic plunger that's a tip that moves back and forth inside of an orifice for every single seed that passes through the row unit. So I'll try to draw up a simple example of what that looks like. You've got your plunger, and it uh, has magnets here in the center. And those magnets with the coil that's in the valve are actually what causes it to move back and forth. And the amount that we move it back is the amount of rate that we're applying. Because we're pulling it away from our orifice here. It's in the cap right down here at the bottom. That orifice and the interaction of the plunger sets the rate. So as it pulls back a larger amount, we get a higher rate. And a smaller amount is a less rate. And so these are the two moving parts. So this obviously is the moving part, but these as a pair are our wear parts inside the valve themselves. And both are replaceable, fairly low cost parts. And we're looking at about 11 million cycles to where we see that they've started to wear enough where we'd recommend place, uh, replacing them. And what you'll notice is, is basically the lowest rate starts to just creep up in the valve over time as those parts wear. So if you're running 10 gallon per acre, you're probably actually going to get more cycles than this. But that's generally, depending on your population, going to be about three years uh, to replace these two parts. So fairly simple. So some have wondered, is there a way to map the data that's being created with 360 Dash? And the answer is yes. There's a couple ways that we've looked at this. One is, is if you're using field view and precision planning system, we are compatible with Precision Planning's FlowSense flow meter. So in the case of using Dash, we'll read the data from the FlowSense and use that for control. And then because we're using that, all the data, including your other planning data that's going to field view, will show up in the same place. So the amount that we're applying with Dash will be mapped in field view. At the same time, for some other tools that are out there, we're planning to look at some import tools that will take the data that we're saving in our iPad, all your data is saved, and give you some easy ways that you could upload that to create maps. When you're running hour by hour and day by day with Dash, we're able to run in the background on your iPad behind field view and other tools like that. And we'll notify you if any row plugs or anything needs your attention. We had this question. Do I understand correctly that there's no harness to connect Dash to the cab? And that's actually correct. We're using wireless communication across your planner. So if we go ahead and draw what that looks like, we're using Wi-Fi to connect the rows to each other through our central hub. So at the center of your planner, you've got the hub. It's got its antenna. This is just our master controller. And then each row has this antenna that you see right here. So across here, we're communicating with Wi-Fi off of this antenna to this one. And then in the cab, where you have your iPad, here we connect using Bluetooth. So you'd have your iPad charging in the cab. The hub is powered at the pump tower at the center of the planner. And then here at the row, we connect with a small short harness to pick up power to run the valve and to run our entire system at the row. So all the communication across the long links of the planner is done wirelessly. And we pick up power at each local location where we need it. As you watch the videos, you notice we use an AgXL pump system with Dash, and we've had the question, why are we doing it that way? And the short answer is, we need to be able to control pressure. So you may think today, as if you have a control system, 
that you could just add 360 dash, but you can only have one control system at a time. You can't have the two fight each other. By using an AgXL pump tower that's dash ready, we are set up with our software to be able to control it and know for sure you're going to have a good experience and that it's going to work. So we control the pressure. As the valves run a higher rate, let's say you go into a zone that needs more rate, we're able to turn up that pressure and we're always in control throughout your planning to make sure that we have what we need. Right now, 360 Dash is able to apply through Keaton Seed Firmers, Flowrite Firmers, and of course 360 Wave. We've had the question of are we going to continue to add to that list and why do we have to pick a specific type of attachment? So to answer that, we think about what it takes to create consistent shots. So for any attachment, take 360 Wave as an example. We need an orifice at the end, at the very end of the tube, right where we're ready to apply to the soil that we know keeps our tube of liquid between the valve and the outlet full. So for any attachment, anything that goes on the list, we first need to have our outlet orifice. And so for the attachments we've approved, we've been able to go through and say each one of these either we offer or comes with the correct orifice size that you need to work with 360 Dash. At the same time, we need to be able to hit the seed consistently. And to do that, we detect when the seed passes the seed sensor in your planter. And we've done all the calibration to know exactly how many milliseconds later we need to fire the dash valve through that specific attachment to make sure we place the starter right next to the seed. So we need our uh, delay timing for each attachment. So the ones that are on the list today meet both of these requirements. We've been able to go through and do the work to know exactly how many milliseconds delay is required and we know that there's an orifice that works. So again, that's the Keaton Seed Firmers, that's the Flow Right, and that's 360 Wave. We are going to continue to add attachments to that approved list as we go ahead and work through the process of identifying that orifice and making sure the delay timing is correct. The 360 Dash is available on Speed Tube and Exact Emerge high speed planters. And we focused on those because it's critical for us to know where the seed landed in the trench. We really like the high speed planters because, as you know, the delivery system is a conveyor. Whether it's a belt or a brush, that seed is in control from top to bottom, from the minute it passes the seed sensor all the way until we reach the ground. And that gives us the ability to very precisely make sure we hit each seed. At the same time, we've designed Dash for high-speed application. That's very challenging. A column of water in a tube doesn't like to be started and stopped very crisply. So a lot of the work we've done as an engineering team is to design Dash to work at those 8, 9, and 10 mile an hour speeds to where those seeds are flying by and the Dash valve needs to respond very quickly and very precisely to create clean and crisp starts and stops to each individual Dash lining up with each one of those seeds. So we like high speed because the, sp the spacing is precise, we know where that seed is exactly in the ground, and we like it because Dash has been designed to handle those tough and challenges of running a high speed system. We are really excited about the response that you've given us on 360 Dash, and we can't wait to see all the savings that's going to occur this spring and the better ROI you're going to see on your nutrient program when you use Dash. We are in a limited production year, there's a limited quantity available, so if you're interested, go ahead and connect with your dealer, check out what's available, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, as well as the website 360yieldcenter.com, and we'll continue to post more information there.